<laughs> hey, Chris. Back up. Thank you. Are you excited, Sarah? Yeah. I've wanted to go here for some. We are so excited to be here. I think this has been on Sarah's bucket list for, for quite a while. For years since I was a kid. I wanted to come here for years and it just has never happened. So if you don't know where Cumberland Island is, it's right above Florida, but it's in the state of Georgia. Beautiful low country, classic Georgia coast look here with the big oak trees and the Spanish moss and it is just beautiful. There's, there's wild so, horses here. There's just wild horses. Just walk right behind us right now. three adult horses behind us and then laying on the ground. This little baby, it's so tiny. Look at it. It's just relaxing in the shade. We've got it made in the shade. So the house right behind Chris right now filming is the, it was the winter home of the Carnegie's. So the Carnegie house, it used to be this really magnificent mansion right on the water, absolutely beautiful. And then it burned down in 1959 and in some ways, the ruins look cooler than the actual house did. I mean, the house is beautiful, don't get me wrong. Like, it's an era gone by in and of itself. But this is just like the ruins with the ivy growing on it and the horses roaming in the front yard. It's just so picture perfect. It looks fake, doesn't it? Doesn't it look fake? It looks, it looks a little, little staged. Yeah. Let's go explore. I'm just curious, do they cut all this grass or do the horses just eat it down, do you think? I wanted to get a shot of the water over here really fast. <laughs> Almost stepped on that poor little guy. I'm just glad it was a little black snake or king snake. Do visit, be aware, they're not all friendly little black snakes like that. Leave them alone too. Just in case. Where'd he go? Shoot, where'd he go? So we're gonna go this way now. <laughs> <laughs> like Sarah said, the island is not just home to wild horses. It's got other wildlife here too. I mean, it is the South, like the South of the United States. There's plenty of rattlesnakes, copperheads. Water moccasins. I don't know if there's, I'm sure there's water moccasins here somewhere, but yeah, yeah you gotta watch for those kind of things. We do have venomous snakes, aplenty, um, but there's fun wildlife like the horses and then getting off the boat, they had signs for manatees. I haven't seen a manatee yet, but we saw jellyfish in the water on the way over here. I'm sure there's a yeah. manatee. And being so close to Florida, it would not surprise me if a gator kind of swam up this way a time or two. I didn't see any signs, but yeah, I would just, I don't get in too many bodies of water in South Georgia yeah. and Florida. <laughs> if you're, if you're ever visiting the South of the United States, don't go, go swim in a lake or go, anything like that. Just, yeah. I mean, certain parts are okay, but. Be aware that when you're in a still body of water, you're not the only one in it. See the smile on your face makes the hard times okay. Anytime, anytime, yeah, yeah. Even when I'm down, I just need you. No bicycles. All these spinal bicycles. How you feeling? Feeling good. Those bicycles make me feel like a kid. I know, aren't like, they fun? They're just like fun beach cruisers and you're just kind of cruising along. Make sure I'm not about to step on a snake. There's no snake. I'm just making it nice oh. and serious. <laughs> really but there is horse poop. We're on our way to the beach. The rental bikes have to stay back there. So we're going to walk to the beach and check it out. Let's go. Yeah, 
amount of effort that we take to get those walking shots. Oh, gotta walk there, walk back, walk there. Oh, Sarah's. on a beach wild horses I think it ranks in the top beaches right I mean everybody's got sand but does a beach have horses does every beach have that I know they don't She feels really good. The water is way warmer than I was expecting. We're definitely coming back. I mean, sooner rather than later. It's, I wasn't sure if it was gonna lift the hype, but it's, it's amazing here. So I think we're gonna come back, camp, and I just wanna bring a book or five and just hang out on the beach next to the horses for days. I just think it sounds amazing. <laughs> it's so beautiful here so relaxing and peaceful and it's not like a beach where you have like people playing loud music on their stereos and I don't know partying it's just everybody's here to relax I'd say we're probably the loudest people here I haven't been this relaxed in a long time I feel like this is exactly what we needed after a really stressful year and a couple months even just today it's like therapy We, we typically don't like to make potty jokes on this channel. Oh, we're not going to do that now. Is that really why you pulled the camera out? Yeah, I just, I mean, like, if you're walking here, just be aware of the, oh, this is horse land. I hope that's a horse. <laughs> Maybe we should go up to the North Island side. Like, we can't go all the way up. We're not going to have time. Oh, the First African Baptist Church is way up there. We're not going to make it. Oh, they have a lighthouse aban that's abandoned. I highly recommend getting a map before you come in here. Something to note about being here on the island is they don't sell anything, no food. You can buy water and drinks on the boat and then past that there's nothing. They do have water stations throughout the island, but it's like half potable, half non-potable. Um, so if you're coming, be aware that not all the water spigots are safe to drink unless you treat them. It's lunchtime this, since they don't sell any sort of food here, you have to bring it in. So we didn't bring much, we don't want to carry much. We're gonna go sit in the shade drink some water, hydrate up, because it's getting hot out here. And then we're gonna keep biking, I think. Would you like a banana? Yes. So when you visit Cumberland Island, do keep in mind that it's a pack in, pack out kind of place. There aren't garbage cans. So whatever you bring to the island, any garbage you make, like banana pills, I'm gonna go right back in my backpack because they have to go back out with us. They do have garbage cans in St. Mary's at the ferry dock that you can throw them away when you get back. But for now, I'm gonna have stinky banana pills in my backpack. And I know me, and I'm gonna forget these are here for a week, and then I'm gonna be like, what the heck is that smell? Watch me, it'll happen. Need more water? Yeah, I'm gonna get some more water. You're making a mess, Chris. Oh, Chris! Mm -hmm. Hey, Chris. Back up. When you see the wild horses on the island, you'll notice that they're not perfectly groomed and that kind of thing like you may see in Kentucky. They are truly wild horses. The ones that just walked by us, the white horses were very sunburned. They had marks all over them. The horses actually will fight with each other, we've been told. We haven't seen that yet, 
but they will fight with each other. So a little beaten up, very, they're just wild animals. Sometimes I think Chris is just exaggerating, trying to be funny. I'm gonna see if it's really as bad as we need to look. I mean, it looked really good. <laughs> Chris is all, whoa! <laughs> Here we go. We're off like a herd of turtles. Oh. Now we're cooking. So one of our most favorite ways to show a setting, a scene, a place, and what it looks like is the drone. And the drone footage that you're seeing in this video is not taken here because this is ran by the National Park Service. We like our drone footage. So here's some of the surrounding area. sunscreen look <laughs> we're looking progressively worse through this video but at least you know it's natural and, and real this just means we're having a lot of fun all this oh it does i'm loving the beach cruisers that we have right now oh my gosh they're, they're a lot so of fun clunky mine is so loud you chris like you can you're not sneaking up you, on yeah me. she can't just, sneak up on anybody it's <laughs> we have what 30 minutes so we have to be back at the dock for our ferry yeah. back been a full day i don't think i mean we knew we weren't gonna have near enough time to explore the whole island i mean it's 18 miles long yeah. we only stayed at the very southern tip of it today and just sort of explored around there definitely coming back and we're gonna well i wanted to ask back. you that like this was on your bucket list yes. this is something that you want like, i definitely want to come back did it live up to the hype yes i think so we don't like to be like oh my gosh this place is amazing it's the best place ever because we know some some people out there every every video they put out it's just so good. Everything's so great. And it's just like the best one ever. We don't want to always have everything. We want to be optimistic. and We want to have a barometer. We want to have a positive outlook on life. But we also want to say like, when this place is worthwhile going, in our everything's opinion, but when this place is worthwhile going, we say that, we want you to be like, oh, it really is a cool place. And I'd say Cumberland Island is definitely worth the trip and definitely worth the cost. People in Georgia know about this, especially in the low country, they know about this island, but I feel like it is underrated and a lot of people don't realize that Georgia, this state that is known for the Bulldogs, Atlanta Coke. and Coca-Cola, that has wild horses running on their beaches. I mean, not it's all of our beaches, <laughs> this is not totally normal, but. I mean, it's amazing. It really not, is amazing. Yeah, most people think Atlanta when they think of Georgia, and it is so much more than Atlanta. So we uh, highly recommend this place. Mm -hmm. um, the low country, Savannah, Charleston, Buford, all of this side of the country is just gorgeous. And we've got videos for all of those. Either they're already out or they're coming out in the next couple days, depending on when you're watching this video. So yeah. stay tuned because we're hitting up the entire low country, some of our favorite places. Oh, it's so beautiful. So we're going to get back on the bikes and go on the ferry and then we'll probably have to pick up Kramer because... I miss Kramer. I do. I, it's nice having a day off from the dog. And I know half of you are going to comment on this video so saying, Kramer. where's Kramer? Thumbs down. Please don't thumbs down it, but we'll, we'll, we promise we will put Kramer in this video right now. Can we put Sarah McLaughlin in there? Oh yeah. No. <laughs> okay, let's just go. Look behind you. I know, isn't it beautiful? I mean, this is like the entire island. So you know when you see pictures of places and you're like, is that the only pretty spot there? Because I feel like it's the same picture I'm seeing over and over and over online of that same place. I thought there was only one little sidewalk that looked just like this. It turns out it's just every road. And so I was not seeing the same place over and over. I'm just seeing the entire island. So you've got this and then you have beautiful beaches. And it's just, I love it here. Like I can't express, I just really do. It's just, I think my impression of it would be like, oh, it's no different than any other Southern beach if it were busier. But the remoteness of not having a car or um, 
really good cell service. It's just, it's a special little place. I mean, it's hard to find places, especially on the East Coast that are just remote and tucked away. And this is one of those places. And I fell in love with it today. Chris puts the camera on me for two seconds and I just monologue. I just, God. You're like, you're like a, a villain with their master plan. It's that, like that... somebody finally gave me a microphone. I'm like, listen to me for a minute. <laughs> What's up, man? What's up, Kramer? <laughs> what are you doing? He's so forgotten, buddy. Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Oh, ball, ball, oh, ball, ball. Got the ball. Come here. Kramer, how you doing, man? Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, I missed you too. I know, okay, okay. For more adventures on the road and in our new home, be sure to follow along on Instagram and like and subscribe here. It really helps creators like us.